recently somebody messaged me on Instagram and asked how do I go from being a weak math student to passing my exam in January or June. I'm going to go one up on that and actually tell you how to go from being a weak math student to becoming competent in mathematics in just five, five steps. The first step is to find your purpose. You need to find a powerful why, why you want to become good in math. Ah, uh, some of you are not ready to hear this one. Your reason should be a strong reason. A weak reason would be like, your mom and dad want you to do good in maths. A strong reason would be like, you really want to become a police officer or a nurse and you need this subject maths to get into that. That's a strong reason. So one of the best things you can do to find your purpose, the cure for finding your purpose is fix it to a long term dream or goal in your life. For young people, this is hard. And this is why young people are less motivated and then they, they, they may fail, so they may fail in maths, enter the field of work, work for two, three years, realize they want a different job, and realize what their dream is, and realize they need the maths or whatever subject, and then they become really motivated into that. So if you could find your motivation now, that is always the best thing. So number one, find your purpose. The second thing you need to do is find out specifically why you are so weak in maths. Why are you weak in maths? 95% of the time it's normally these four reasons why students are weak. Number one, they are weak in some specific area of maths and it's usually, once again 95% of the time it's usually arithmetic which is specifically, specifically it's timetables I'm talking about. They don't know their timetables. Now there's, now there's your scientific calculator to help you with arithmetic but you need to be at some degree of competency with your timetables. So what's the cure for this? Learn it in one night. The cure for this is to learn it in one night. What? What did he say? Learn it in one night? Yes, learn it in one night. Sit down and learn off your whole timetables in one night. Just learn it off. But you may be like, but sir, I'm weak in maths. If you just so what? I wouldn't be able to learn it in one night. Yes, sit down and write out each timetable. Well, you know, you must you know your two and three, four. Learn off your six, seven, eight. Make sure you can do those numbers. And learn off your fractions too. Second reason why students are weak is because their English is weak. And be careful getting your English stronger. Well, this is a whole video by itself. But the top three ways to get better in English is one, read, 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 read. I know you hear this plenty of times, but yes, read, 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 read. And don't read. And I'm talking about Facebook and Instagram. Read book, lit, books, literature. Read that. But two, get a tutor. And number three, important, stop hanging out with losers. The problem with hanging out with losers and forgive me for using the word losers the problem with hanging out with losers is that their vocabulary is limited and I'm not talking about how the way they speak you, know? you ever hear how I speak in this video? my English is terrible uh, it's more about the intelligence of their conversation it's not really stretching your brain in terms of English and logic and stuff like that hang out with smart people when your English is weak, your maths is weak because worded questions become a problem and understanding the logic in questions become a problem. The third reason why you may be weak in maths is because of your family, the way you're brought up, the environment. That's the third reason. You may come from a family where it's, it's commonplace to hear somebody say, I hate maths, I could never learn maths, that's just the way it is, that kind of negative thing and you soak that into your system and you become, you take that as facts. The cure for that is to begin to speak a new truth into your life believe that you can do it and watch watch my channel that's the next cure for that just watch my channel and the fourth reason why you may be weak and this is only for a small percentage of people the fourth reason is normally one of these those top three reasons the four, fourth reason why you may be weak it may be genetic or medical you may have poor eyesight you're not seeing on the board properly you sit down in the back of the class you didn't know that you're taking down your notes slowly and this affected you since standard one two three four by the time it or you may have a learning disorder. So the cure for this is obviously seeking medical help and fixing the problem to the best of your ability. Whew, hot in here, boy. All right, so you find your purpose, you find out why you are weak and you're working on that. What next? The third thing you need to do is find the proper tools, environment, your zen. All right, so when I start teaching people private lessons, I check out where they study. And no, sometimes you have no area where they study in the house, they eat on their bed. You need to set aside a little table somewhere where you could actually study and make sure you have a scientific calculator and you're not using your calculator on your phone. 
people come into my class with no pen, no pencil, they're not serious about the tools and then they tell them so they want to pass maths. You don't even have the tools to write properly. Make sure you have a notebook dedicated to maths and you're not just writing in one notebook for every subject and you can't find your notes from last term and you can't find your, you can never find your notes from last year and get serious. You need your geometry set and you need a decent textbook. I might do a video reviewing all the maths textbooks and stuff like that. Alright, so you might be like, alright so I have my purpose. I really I am motivated to do this. One, two, I found out what I'm working on, I'm working on that. And three, I have the proper tools, I have my things set and I'm ready to work. So what are the next two? Let me tell you. The fourth thing is you need to find out the scheme of the work. I'm talking about the syllabus. You need to find out the syllabus for maths and what exactly you need to know and how you are going to be tested on it. And you all know, if you watch my videos, I am a firm believer in past papers. And you need to do a hell of a lot of past papers by the time your exam reach around. And plenty, plenty practice questions on top of that. From your textbook, from your notes, whatever. And finally, the fifth thing is action. Is find out how to grind. Find out your timetable. Find out how you're going to put this into play. And I know plenty of people are requesting me to do a video on, on how exactly to study for the exam in January specifically. So I will do that, a specific video showing you how to break down each topic and weeks and timetable and I will do a video about timetable and study guide very likely this week because you know time is upon us so look out for that but yeah number one and number five are the most important finding your purpose and the action the grind actually doing the work and when you're doing the work it involves writing a lot doing the actual questions and repetition doing over the topics over and over a lot and this is not a maybe thing I telling you this works I've seen students who fail match three times and we go through this process and they shock themselves how good they get in maths and how they begin to pick up momentum by the time the exam comes around so if you're serious about it put this video into action if you know you're a weak student and you want to get out of the weak student category into the land of those who pass CXC maths put these actions into play remember if you want to be notified when new videos are coming out like the video I'm gonna do on the study timetable for January exam coming there after you have clicked the subscribe button you need to hit the notification bell a bell right next to the subscribe button there and you'll be notified every time I shoot out a new video so until next time keep watching out for daily videos well well almost daily videos I miss Friday video but yeah Drop a comment below if you're weak in a subject area and you became strong in a subject area and tell me your story. See you next time.